Hello and welcome back to Tiktasakia campaign. We're still in this war against Pontus, but we have 70,000 beautiful Tiktasakians marching south. We're going to win. We are going to win. I promise you that. The people in our war is, is just us. It's just us. Um, but we have more cohorts than they do. And we have won more battles as well. Uh, but we don't control Galatia, so we're at negative 17 for that. We need to take back this province. Good lord, that is a just phenomenally huge um, amount of martial ability. Um, loyalty changes by 100 a month. Excuse the fuck out of me, what? I'll pay that aggressive expansion. Now it changes by... I have no idea. Let's wait a month. Maybe it'll change. Is it seriously going to go up to 100? I mean, it, it pure, it straight up just stayed as it was. Oh, we're, no. We need to get there right now. Right now. You, march. Come on, get in there, you boys. Come on, we're killing twice as many as we're losing. Come on. We can do this. Archers against heavy infantry. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. We can do this. That 14 martial... Oh, thankfully, he's got shock action. we got bottlenecks, so... That is helping out so much. So, so much. We just need to keep going. Keep fighting. Now we're about equal on losses. But I think we've got this in the bag. That 3,000 is not enough to swing it. The three advantage, though, is pure crazy. Come on, come on, we can do it. Three to one losses. Two to one losses. Give me that sexy roll, come on. I mean, I guess it's only uh, plus one because he's got the terrain. And we got more men and we've got the tactics advantage as well. Come on. We're actually, we won. We won, we won, we won, fuck yeah. All right, so we need to take this, take this. Take this. I sent two in the same place? No, I didn't. Okay. Get you guys down here. You still retreating. But now you can come down here. Navy still doesn't have a command, but that's fine. Lovely little stack wipe there. And another one. You go down here if you can. Miraculous recovery. Miraculous. Yes. And that level 14 marshal has fucked right off. I love it. Nice. I think as soon as we take this uh, province, it's game over and we've won. Incendiary slave speaks in Heraclea Pontica. You could crucify them, gain 10 popularity, gain 10 loyalty for my governor of Bithynia. Uh, slave gets murdered, but that's fine. Slave happiness, negative 15% is bad, and the tyranny is bad. You could divide the group up and deal with the leader. Slave output only goes down. Um, we could hire him, lose popularity, lose loyalty, but local unrest in the entire province of Heracleotis, which would be okay, or we could just ignore it all. I'm going to divide the group up. Ugh, divide the group and deal with the leader. That seems like the best option to me. Win this siege and we win the war. 75 war score. 75 war score. And we take this. And everything is mine. I could try and take... I mean... No, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. This is good enough. 13 aggressive expansion is quite a lot, but it's all good. Boom. Done. The Pontine Elite... I am going to pass judgment on the important families, and I'm going to welcome one family. Uh, preferably one with a huge amount of civic ability, which is none of them. Um, I guess you've got seven. You've got seven as well. Let us take in the Arids, I think. We'll take in the Arids. There's nine members, six members, twelve members, thirteen members. We'll take in... It depends, because I want a Pontic 
leader to govern this area. So there's a little bit more happiness. Let's take in the Cyrenids. 12 members, that's fine, and the rest can be crucified. Right, so, lack of governor here. We need Pontic Gaggi. Pontic Gaggi. Pontic, there we go. Pontic Zoroastrian. He's a scorn family. There's the Surin I was after. Slave happiness, civilization level. I like it all. Welcome to the team. Also, uh, religiously convert people, please. And the same here. And that's good. That is very, very nice. Right. I have some mercenaries, which I did not purchase, yet I still have to get rid of them. Ah, uh, there we go. Fire him. 122 ducats. That sucks balls, but has to be done. Like, I'm fairly sure I did not hire him. I'm almost certain of it. Right, now, army-wise... Retinue, go to Byzantium. Retinue, go to Byzanth. My own army, go to Bithynian. Uh, retinue, go to Lysimachia. And then, I assume, my own army, yes, go to Heraclea Pontike. Actually, you know what? Uh, you can go to Gordian. Right, so vegetables from Epicectus. Uh, Frigid Epicectus is currently making 24 food a month, which is great. That's real nice. So I will actually accept that. What other trade goods did we just acquire? Anything decent? Anything sexy? Mm, not so much, actually. A lot of livestock. And we got from... Where is it? Here it is, Galatia. We got vegetables, salt. No, no surpluses, though. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, only the navy is problem. We'll arrange a marriage with... Maybe we could arrange a marriage with one of them Surters or Surmers or whatever they were called. One of the new guys. There's a scorned family. Galby. Maybe we can try and arrange a marriage with a Galby. Galby, 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 Galby. Where are you? Galba? Galby family? Yep, there we go. Arrange a marriage with you. You're 58, but that's fine. Suitable match. Beautiful. Splendid. Right, so you are currently 85% loyal, zero corruption, you beauty. He's Hellenic Greco Illyrian, which I assume is helping out the problems here. Not Druidic religion, I mean, you don't care. Um, Governor is Hellenic, negative 10%. Okay, so it's Bithynian, which is not. Oh, it's a member of the Hellenistic group, I guess. Greco Pontic is a member of the Hellenistic group. Yeah, I don't know. You're also losing food, so you need some food. Is there any farming estates that I could possibly build? Uh, not for the amount of money I have, but now yes. Uh, I can bank one in App this one, which is in the right place, so yes. You can have a farming settlement, which should help out quite a bit. You want fish from Europa. Europa is currently on 10 food a month. And I am actually kind of okay with that, yes. Now you are vegetables from Frigi Epicectus. Frigi Epicectus is making 31, so that is a solid yes. You're ne- oh wait, plus two food. Plus two food is good. I assume it's because of attrition uh, in various armies. So that's no longer an issue. Alright, lovely. I am very much liking the way this is going. Only the navy, right. We can get the navy to have a new commander. We'll pop this guy in, the Natapori, purely because he's a scorn family and I don't imagine I'm going to be using the navy all that much. He's mostly a transport navy for now. At least until we can afford to use the navy more proactively. Uh, you are no longer going to be a commander. We're going to assign to regent. 
And the same for you. Do I have three armies? No, you are... should be over here. You should be down here. Uh, you want to import livestock from Epicectus. Epicectus has still got a ton of food, so yes. And, oh wow, Aeolia is huge. I'm no longer allied with Amasos. But you're guaranteed by Macadon, so there's nothing I can do there. Aeolia. 14 cohorts. I, I need I need a fabricate claim. I don't care which province it's on, because the plan is going to be tributary status. Cappadocia Gesauritus folded because they gave a province away. That's fine. Uh, you want livestock from Epicectus? That's still fine. You want Epicectus as well? We'll have to keep an eye on this, though. That is all of the imports I can do. 13.7. That's perfect. That's fine. We'll go Tribes and Happiness, and then we'll have a look at Byzantium again. My capital, and... Let's increase the development once again. Maximum is 15. Oh, you're losing food because of attrition. That's fine. All right, what are you doing? You, you go back to Byzantium. Right, you should no longer be losing food as soon as you get there. 6.4. Lovely. That's fine then. Sixth Warhost is now a regional army, so your loyalty is going to increase just a smudge. 0, 0.0. That's fine. That's fine. If it stays solid, that's fine. You're going up, and the other one, Bithynia Superior, is also going up. Lovely. Arbitrary rewards. So I could gain a bunch of money, but gain also some corruption. I could gain political influence, but again gain corruption, or we should refrain and lose corruption. That sounds good. Losing corruption is always good. You're now losing food. Right, we've still got to build this, but then it should be okay. You've got farming settlement, you are making earthenware, you're wood, you're making wood. Olives, fish, army settlement. Um, you're making salt, it's fine. Iron, you should have mine. You got a tribal settlement, this should be a mine, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get rid of this. We're gonna be building a mine as soon as we can afford it. Tar sauce, farming settlement, good. We can get another military tradition. Raise levy ability. I will agree to that immediately. Right, so how do I raise a levy? How do I raise a levy? Raise levies. Your army will receive a morale hit while they reorganize. This unit gains zero units of light infantry, zero owned territories in this province. Okay, maybe I'll wait a month. There we go. Right, so. Are you shitting me? Come on. Who's this? Stop being this a second. I'll gain five units of light infantry. Is that it? That's not very good. That is not very good at all, but you know, whatever. Maybe it'll come in useful elsewhere. You want wood? That's fine. Only one disloyal province, and it is gaining loyalty. That's fantastic. No longer importing salt to Europa. That is bad, and I can't get it. Oh, it's horrible. We could get some cloth. If we get a, an extra cloth, we get oratory tech investment and 5% extra taxes. I'll do it. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do religious endowments. 3% happiness for everyone of the religion. That's, that's probably a good idea. I mean, I know it's one of the weaker ones, but... 3% happiness when we are on the edge of loyalty is, I think, a really good idea. We do have quite a few people of our religion in these three, four provinces. 
You, still not quite yet, but we will get there. What kind of uh, conversion are you doing? 1.3% a month is good. That's fine for now. We don't have anywhere we can colonize from. Aeolia wants an alliance. You know what? That's that's way better than tributary. That is way better than tributary. So I'm actually going to cancel my fabricated claim. Yeah, you're pretty big. That's yeah, that's a really good idea. It's a really good idea. We're gonna improve relations instead. Improved office. So my bodyguard could gain two marshal for two hundred ducats. Uh, I'd rather give him 15 political influence. I feel like that's way more worth it. Yeah, definitely. I gain 15 political influence way faster than I gain 200 ducats. Maybe for my size, I'm supposed to be gaining more money. That's probably likely. I would love to be able to kill Chaos. That'd be fantastic. Um, are you in danger? No risk of rebellion, no risk of civil war. Wow, you're really stable. For Phrygia, you are super stable. Same with Seleucids, actually. Look at them. They're huge. Phrygia has 226 cohorts. They're making 12 ducats a month. Look at the ta uh, commerce, though. 60 ducats from commerce. Whereas I make... 10. <laughs> it's it's not even close. I mean, I suppose he does have 3,800 3, pops, and I have 1,000. But, yeah. Painful. Very, very painful. Also, holy shit, that Macedonian is everywhere. They really converted that well. Another one? Okay, well, improved office again. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That is really nice. So, Aeolia is currently dying to Phrygia. Not, a not Aeolia, sorry, Phrygia Epictetus. They are uniting the Phrygias. Your uh, award with Cappadocia, Gesaritus, Phrygia Epictetus, Cilicia, Trachea, and Pontus Colopane. Well, you're welcome, Phrygia, because I weakened pretty much all of those for you. Amisos, I would love, absolutely love to be at war with Amisos so I could get the rest of Galatia. But I don't think that's going to be possible. For Kizikos, client state to Macedon. Lord, Macedon is so overbearing. Mental. Well, nothing much I can do about that right now. I guess I'm needing to just build up to go after Phrygia. Uh, looking at my decisions, Galatia, we have one province for Galatia. It's this one. Therefore, I think this province, sorry, this territory here, is the only one we have that you need to form Galatia. And it's in the province of Galatia. I think this should be the capital. I think this should be the capital. Where's the cap make capital button? Does it have to be the provincial capital first? Yes, it does. Alright, well, you're definitely going to be the provincial capital anyway. So to make it the proper capital, I need 225 political influence. I'm going to do it, though, because it's got more civilization value than my current capital. It'll also help with the um, loyalty, I think. Phrygian slave in Lysimachia becomes a freeman. I did not know I had any Phrygian slaves, but sure, why not? But yeah, Gordian is definitely going to become a proper capital. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of nothing here, because these are all awesome buildings. It was you that had trash buildings, right? Training camps are... Uh, they're okay. Uh, foundries are fine if you really focus on them, but I mean, just one is not worth it. Waste of a building slot. Um, if I had the money, I would build more farming settlements. So yeah, 225. We'll save up for that. We'll get it. Because this is primarily Druidic Volke, so I'm not worried about Europa uh, losing any kind of, um, you know, any rebellion stuff. I'm not worried about that. New tribal chief, we've got this Salatus Taulatus. Okie dokie. Meeting of the clans, every clan of Volke loses loyalty. Well, that sucks, but whatever, what can you do? 
And looking at these, you are now my own retinue. My own army, sorry. So, see you later. You're still a retinue, sorry, an army, and you're still an army. Lovely. And we should have another retinue pop up somewhere. There he is. And you can go straight to Lysimachia. Lysimachia. Bithynia Superior is gaining loyalty but very, very slowly. Because Bithynian has still got that nasty modifier, does it? No, it doesn't. It's just not very happy. Slave happiness, Freeman happiness, yeah, it's it's just not happy. What is my overall situation? Right, I am 729 druidic pop, 66.45% of my nation is druidic, which is fantastic. Heracleotus is losing food still. Native 0.9, you built a farming settlement though. Uh, you are going to need to import some more food, my buddy, but it's losing it very, very slowly, so we'll be able to fix that before it becomes a problem. It's just a, a bit of a pain in the ass right now. Yeah, it should be okay. We should be fine. You, you're just annoying. Colchis is still in that revolt. Oh no, it's got a new one. Never mind. I really want to attack you, but Macadon is probably after... Egypt and Seleucids and Phrygia, the strongest nation in the game. Mm, maybe Rome is stronger. We'll see what happens. Uh, Phrygia, I would love to help out some rebellions. I need to be a major power to support rebellions. All right, I need a hundred cities. That's not going to happen. But I do want the rest of Galatia, like a lot. Stars of War. Find a nation to conquer. Fuck you. Uh, you want help against Militos? Sure. You've got you got 23k there. I'm not actually going to help you. Making six ducats a month. Though. Holy shit, that's awesome. Hey, <laughs> nice. This worked out beautifully. I get morale of armies for no reason. Come on, Aeolia. Yeah, you're winning that. Lovely. Good job. Good stuff. It's only a single city, so it should be fairly easy. But you backed away. Why did you back away? Go back. Siege the fucking city, you fool. I'm sure you should not help him. What are you doing? He's just depopulated Melassa. Repopulate the city. Crisis in Chaos once again. How are you having so many crises when you're so goddamn small? Um, Duel of the Chiefs, you're both really shit. So, Duel to the Death. And it was a bloody draw. Oh wait, they both died. Okie dokie then. My army size is gonna go down. Because I can't afford this or this. Got this. Oh, you were really disloyal. Hey, not anymore, you're not. There you go, 64. You're gonna go wherever I tell you, which is right to Lysimachia. You're gonna go to Byzanth. Frigia Epictetus is actually not dead yet. Interesting. Um, Paphlagonia Inferior declared war upon Heraclea Pontica. Uh, okay. Um, that's perfectly fine by me. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we can call in Aeolia to our war. We can call in Aeolia as well. I guess I called in Thrace before. And then for an omen, more happiness. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to re-disable my maintenance because fuck paying for things. Uh, we need a new magistrate. You Segovax can do that. What an awesome name, Segovax. Yeah. All right, well, with that, I am going to put a cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.